In 100 years, we won't be around anymore. Maybe our grandchildren or even our children will, but it's also possible that no human will survive to tell some stories. And what about 100,000 years from now? Whether it's a brave group of survivors roaming a post-apocalyptic desert or a utopian civilization where scientists have solved all the world's problems, chances are we won't be here. But let's suppose somehow humanity still persists 50,000 years from now. We won't die due to resource scarcity or a global nuclear war, but a new ice age will take us out, unlike what happened in the past. The world won't be inhabited by giant sloths and saber-toothed tigers. It will revert to a glacial period with lower temperatures and advancing glaciers. Last ice age ended about 15,000 years ago, but yes, the planet will get much colder. You might think it sounds crazy that the world will cool down, right? Well, that's exactly what happened thousands of years ago, and it can happen again. Or perhaps, it could start warming up and melting the glaciers. I mention this because in 50,000 years, Earth will experience another ice age. Now, let's fast forward to 100,000 years in the future. The Earth will have experienced its first supervolcanic eruption. But, what's a supervolcanic eruption? It's a massive eruption that can spew about 400 cubic kilometers of magma. You might not fully grasp what that means, but it's a tremendous amount of magma. Some volcanoes in California are capable of such eruptions. In fact, they erupted one million years ago, and they will erupt again. Scientists say it's not a matter of if but rather when it will happen. Unlike earthquakes, tsunamis, storms, or floods, supervolcanic eruptions pose a global threat to civilization. So, if we manage to survive the ice age 50,000 years from now, we'll probably be wiped out by a supervolcano. But don't worry, that's not the worst part yet. By the way scientists talk about it, a supervolcanic eruption seems like the worst possible thing that can happen to a planet. They've even compared it to the damage caused by an asteroid or meteorite impact on Earth. Speaking of which, could life on Earth be extinct again due to an asteroid impact? The most significant impact of this kind in modern history was the Tunguska event in Russia, which released an explosion of energy about a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The estimated size of that meteorite was between 60 and 190 meters in diameter. Scientists calculate that in 500,000 years, Earth will be hit by a space debris fragment approximately one kilometer in diameter. And all of this assumes that humans won't be able to avoid the impact due to lack of resources. Humans already have a plan to deal with large cosmic rocks hitting our way. The problem is that if it happens in 500,000 years, depending on our situation, avoiding the catastrophic impact might be impossible. Now, let's go even further into the future, 2 million years from now. It's hard to imagine the world without humans, isn't it? In fact, we're a bit narcissistic, but the truth is we are insignificant when considering the entire lifespan of Earth. So, in 2 million years, there will still be a lot going on in the world, even without humans. The world will change, and places as we know them today might look completely different. Take the Grand Canyon. For example, it was shaped by the erosive action of water flowing through the Colorado River. Considering this fact, an increase in snow and ice levels will undoubtedly transform the area completely. The same will happen to Arizona's Meteor Crater, with its 1 kilometer wide and 173 meter deep crater, which is currently the world's most well-preserved one. In 2 million years, it will have vanished. So, in 2 million years, the entire world will have changed, and natural beauties will be different. Perhaps places we can't even imagine now might exist. Everything will keep transforming. Now, let's go even further into the future, 10 million years from now. After the planet and its living beings have gone through various inevitable natural disasters, what else can happen to our poor, battered, and lonely planet? Believe it or not, Destiny still has some big surprises for Earth. Have you seen the Great Rift Valley in East Africa, where Earth's tectonic forces are currently trying to create new plates separating from the old ones? They will continue to spread, you know? The Somali Plate and the Nubian Plate will eventually separate completely, creating a new ocean basin that divides the African continent. 
As if that's not enough, in 10 million years, Earth will literally be falling apart, forming new continents and oceans. This happened in the past, and it will probably happen in the future. For those who don't know, our planet has changed slowly over time. The fragmented continents of today were once part of a single landmass called Pangaea. It started to break apart about 100 million years ago. We won't have another Pangaea anytime soon, but in about 80 million years, the planet will continue changing after the division of Africa and the formation of a new ocean. Does this mean Hawaii will disappear from the map? Specifically, it will have nearly vanished beneath the waves due to rising tides, volcanoes, and the Ice Age. The California coastline will also have started to collapse into the ocean, thanks to its location on the San Andreas Fault. Africa will keep moving until it collides with Europe and Asia, closing off the Mediterranean basin and creating a mountain range similar to the Himalayas. The positive side of all this is that it will be a time when Earth has naturally replenished its fossil fuel reserves. The negative side is that there simply won't be anyone around to use them. After going through all of this, we finally get some good news. Although most of the world is sinking or being dismantled, at some point, things will start to return to normal. Life will have begun to reclaim the land and oceans. We just don't know the specifics of what life will look like after so many twists and turns. But that's going to happen until the ozone layer starts to deplete, thanks to the effects of global warming, meteor impacts, volcanic eruptions, and general degradation over the years. Furthermore, in 500 million years, a gamma ray burst will occur close enough to Earth to affect the ozone layer and trigger an extinction event. Extinction means, of course, that everything will be dead. By then, after the human race has been forgotten as a tiny blip in history, the Earth will still manage to be populated by some form of life that adapted and evolved through countless changes. As I said, we'll be just a brief memory in Earth's history. Things might turn out differently, but according to science, all of these things will probably happen in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. That's it for now guys. Thank you.